You've made a sizable investment in your air compressor. Of course, you'll want to get the most life from it that is possible. Here are some simple tips that can help you achieve years of trouble-free operation. To get the most life from your air compressor, make sure to follow instructions. While it may seem obvious, but reading your air compressor's manual is a small investment in time that can have a big payoff. You'll learn the maintenance schedule as well as operating guidelines for your compressor. This information will help you extend the life of your equipment and minimize downtime. A great tip to keep your air compressor running smoothly is to check the oil levels daily. If your compressor uses oil, be sure to check the oil before every use. Operating with insufficient oil is one of the quickest ways to seriously damage your compressor. Keep your air compressor breathing by cleaning your intake vents. Make sure to keep your air intake clean, especially if your environment is dirty or dusty. Build up on the intake vents will force your compressor to work harder and reduce pressure. So here we have the hair oil separator element. This typically needs to be replaced every 2,000 to 8,000 hours of use, depending on the make and model of the compressor. And it prevents excessive oil usage buildup. Once this begins to clog up, you will typically see moisture and oil begin to build up downstream. Analysis has shown that compressor energy costs rise by 1% for each 2 PSI of separator pressure drop. Vibration from your compressor operation can loosen screws, bolts, nuts. They need to be checked periodically when you're doing PMs. Anything that has um, a vibration can wiggle loose. Keep your air compressor trouble free by watching your hoses. Make sure to inspect all your compressor's hoses regularly. Cracks can lead to leaks, which puts strain on your air compressor's other components. Replace any hoses that are cracked and damaged right away. Help keep your system trouble free by draining moisture and other contaminants from your system. Your receiver tank collects moisture from the air that it's compressing. Empty this regularly to prevent water buildup in your air system. Another thing to keep in mind is most separators and filters have automatic drains. Make sure that they are in good working condition. Make sure to monitor the temperature of your compressor. Your manufacturer will specify the acceptable operating range of your compressor. Excessive heat can cause unnecessary wear and shorten your compressor's life. To prevent overheating, your compressor may have a built-in safety shutdown system. Test this feature regularly to make sure that it is functioning properly. Look out for leaks in your air compressor. Leaks can originate from lines, gaskets, fittings, valves, clamps, and connections. They can divert an estimated 25% of your compressed air. So be sure to check the entire system regularly. Ultrasonic leak detectors can be helpful to catch leaks that you can't even hear audibly. When, uh, when you purchase your compressor, you want uh, on a new compressor, you want to know what it sounds like normally, so then you know what it doesn't sound right. And there's a lot of noises that go through it uh, as far as when it blows down, different noises. Uh, this one's not belt driven, but if you have belts that are squeaking, it's good to just have a baseline knowledge of what the air compressor sounds like when, you, when it's new. And then you could help identify when something isn't sounding right. So I trust you find these 10 tips useful for keeping your compressed air system in tip-top shape. Doing these simple things will efficiently serve you for thousands of hours and years of productivity. And remember, Fluid Air Dynamics, we specialize in the design, installation, maintenance, and repair of rotary compressed air systems throughout the Midwest. Call us today for service or a free system assessment. Thank you for your time.